Terry and today I wanted to come to you with another busty girls confidence video and what better way to instill confidence in yourselves when you have a larger size bust than making sure you have a proper bra fitting so unfortunately most women and girls wear the wrong bra size and when you wear the wrong bra size it makes it to where you're uncomfortable and when you're uncomfortable it's difficult to feel attractive and confident oftentimes this happens because either the individual doesn't know how to measure themselves for a proper bra fitting they've never been to a proper bra fitting or there's been a significant lapse between the time span of when they had their last bra fitting. So how often should you get measured for a bra fitting? So I would say every one or two years, or if you've had a significant weight loss or weight gain, I would say somewhere around 10 pounds. Or if you've given birth to a child, um, I would recommend getting I would recommend um, for women who are pregnant that they get measured during their pregnancy and then again after they have given birth. So I would recommend going somewhere like a, um, a department store, Nordstrom's is really great, or maybe Macy's or Saks, um, one of those types of department stores to get your bra fitting. That way, while you're there, they can provide you with styling options depending on what you're shopping for. And then while you're in the department store, you can go ahead and try them on. And please, ladies, when you're getting fitted for a bra, try on the bra before you leave the store. It doesn't take very long, and you have the individual right there who measured you, and what they can do is they can help you fit your bra, and then they can also give you an idea of whether or not the bra is fitting correctly, or maybe you need to go up a size, down a size band, up a size cup, or down a size. And if online shopping is your preference, make sure that your measurements are correct. So I would still try on some bras in the store, at least one, try on one bra in the store to make sure it's the correct fit and then order online from there. And here's another recommendation I have and a lot of people don't even consider this is that your OBGYN can also measure you so that you can figure out what your proper bra size is. Um, most of them do have measuring tape, but I will also recommend that you bring your own just in case they don't have one handy. So a few benefits of receiving a proper bra fitting is that it's also going to alleviate back pain, shoulder pain and discomfort, and your clothing will also fit a lot better. So here are some of the signs that you are wearing a bra with improper sizing. Number one, the bra should not ride up your back. So when you are properly fitted for a bra, the band should rest right here. So kind of in the middle of your back, it should not ride up here. So if the band is riding up, what that means is that you need a smaller size band and you need a larger cup size. Another indicator that you're wearing the wrong bra size is that you shouldn't be able to pull the back of your band too far out. So for example, when I pull my band, you can just, I can just barely pull it. But when the band is too large, a lot of people, they can pull it out quite a ways. So you should not be able to do that if you have the proper bra fitting. Another sign that you're wearing the wrong size is that you end up getting what I've heard called the double bubble. And what that means is that you're wearing your bra 
and some of your breast tissue is sitting inside of the bra but then you also have a little bit of I guess you could call it spillage where your breast tissue actually kind of comes over your bra so that means that the cup size is too small okay so next we're going to get into how to measure for the correct bra size now I've seen some information that was pretty interesting um, when I was kind of researching online that said if you want to figure out what your band size is they suggest that you measure across the top of your bust and that really doesn't make sense because this area here is not where your band is going to go your band actually goes down here so what you'll want to do and if you're measuring yourself you know this I'm going to be measuring myself here I already know my measurements but I want to give you an example but um, have your measuring tape and then you're also going to want to have something that you can use to record your measurements okay so the first thing you'll want to do is take your measuring tape and measure around the area where your bra band is going to go so measuring around and you want to make sure that you expend all of your air so blow all the air out and then look down <laughs> and it's kind of difficult for me to see it right now because um, my girls are in the way but um, I measured myself and I know that I am a 31 and a half and what I would recommend is rounding up to the next even number so the next even whole number which for me would be 32 and then you'll also want to make sure that you're pulling it pretty snug when you're measuring for your band size and go ahead and record that measurement okay so this next step is probably going to blow your mind because I'm pretty sure that if you've been somewhere like Victoria's Secret and I hate to call them out but I've heard several women say the same thing is their associates are not trained on how to properly measure for a proper bra fitting so what you're going to want to do and I should have led with this when you're measuring yourself for a bra fitting you want to make sure you are not wearing a bra so you don't have to be completely nude but you do want to be nude from the waist up so for this next step what you're going to do is lean forward with your back parallel to the floor and what you're going what that does is it's going to bring all of the breast tissue forward so that way you'll get a really good measurement for your true for your true size of so that way you'll get a proper measurement for the volume of the breast tissue that you have so I'm gonna demonstrate again and lean over parallel to the floor pull the band down and you're going to want to measure let me <laughs> let me set up and so for this measurement you're going to want to measure just a little bit loosely but not too much you don't want it to be super tight the way that you measured um, for your band so just allow a little bit of slack there and again what you want to do is record your measurement make sure that the band is where your bra band would go I'm going to pull it down a little bit okay and then lean forward parallel and measure and so my measurement came out to be 43 okay so you have both of your measurements so the next thing you're going to want to do is subtract the two from each other to come up with the difference after you subtracted the two numbers and came up with the difference record that number so for me the difference was 11 all right so um, what you're going to do with that number that you got or the difference between the two measurements is you're going to refer to this chart 
and I'm using the UK measurement chart because to me it's a bit more straightforward. I found that the US bra fitting chart was kind of iffy. You know, it would say, oh, if you fall within this number, then you're a G slash H, which may be the case, but it seems like with for the UK sizing chart, it's a little bit more precise. And that's how I figured out that I was wearing a 34 G in the past, but I noticed that I wasn't quite getting the support that I needed. And when I measured myself again, and also referred to the UK sizing chart, it turns out I was a 32 H. And I'm telling you, since I figured out the proper bra fitting, life has not been the same, and my clothing options have opened up tremendously. Okay, so you have your proper bra fitting measurements. So the next thing you're going to want to do is um, I would recommend going to a department store. And again, um, you may have a little bit of difficulty depending on how large your bus size is. I know for me, um, JCPenney really doesn't carry the types of bras that go up to my size. So um, I would recommend again going to a Nordstrom or a Nordstrom Rack or a Macy's you know, one of those somewhat high-end type of department stores. And when you speak with your associate, let them know what you're looking for. Are you looking for a bra for everyday wear? Are you planning on going to a, something where you're getting dressed up for a special occasion? Are you wanting to have something that is strapless? You know, have that conversation with the sales associate and what they'll do is they will bring different types of styling options for you to try. All right, so now it's time to try on the bra. I have one of my bras here, <laughs> and um, I love hot pink. Fuchsia is my favorite color, so I thought I would demonstrate using hot pink. But anyway, what you're going to want to do when you're trying on your bra is, again, you'll want to lean over so that you're bringing all the breast tissue to the front. Okay, so we're leaning over and bring all the breast tissue to the front. And when I say bring it to the front, I mean actually scoop it from back here. Scoop it forward, bring the cut side. Okay, so you'll want to lean forward and bring all of your breast tissue to the front. Tuck it in like so, make sure it's secure and do the same thing to the other side. And my bra, my, the snaps for my bra are in the front, and I just grabbed this one for ease of use. And stand up, and what you're going to want to do, of course, is adjust your breast to make sure that your nipples are pointing in the same direction. So I'm gonna do that off camera. Okay, so I have adjusted my breast, and they're both at the same level. Um, I have this dress on, so but if you could see it, the middle part here is pressed against my chest. And if you look at the back, the band is where it should be. Okay, so there's one more step we don't want to forget about, and that is adjusting the bra straps. So what you want to do is adjust your bra straps adjust your bra straps to where you could slip, I would say one finger underneath, and it shouldn't be easy for you to do that. Um, but you don't want them to be too tight. So I would say adjust them to where it's comfortable. Um, if you adjust it too tight, then it may dig down into your shoulders. But if it's too loose, then you're not getting, um, and you know, most of your support should come from the band. Um, but you do want to also have it to where it's not um, slipping off your shoulder or anything like that because that could be pretty uncomfortable as well. So depending on the brand, you may have to adjust the band size and sometimes even the cups. Not all bras are created equal. So what I would suggest is that it's probably going to be a little bit of trial and error, but once you find the bra that fits you, again, it it's life changing. It can make you look as much as five to 10 pounds lighter 
just by lifting your breast and having the type of support that you need so that you look nice in your clothing and that you feel comfortable, you're not experiencing any pain. And just having those things is going to help boost your confidence because you're going to feel a lot more comfortable. And you'll also know that you're looking a lot better in your clothing now that you have the proper bra fitting. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below because I love to interact with you. Subscribe if you haven't already and share the video. I have one more video in my Busty Girl series that I'm going to be sharing with you all probably within the next couple weeks. I want to see how these other videos go and if they do really well then I will continue to make them. And also what I would ask you to do is if you are enjoying these videos, if you could leave a star emoji down in the comment section, then that will let me know that you're interested in seeing more videos like this. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.